like when you wear it's it's, how so this wig is old okay it's an older wig but the hair is still fine but the lace mm -hmm. is just not lacing like that is uh -huh. there so it's like stretch can you just you replace can. the you can the i'm not that girl to do that though i'm not you that girl. You could be. You though. literally do everything else. I could, but you I could I'm, I'm choosing not to be that girl. I'll just buy a wig. <laughs> okay. This is an old wig. Look, the part is kind of straight. It's got a little turn, like a little curve in the road going down. A little okay. bend. And well, I was just I, like, <laughs> no, I, I don't see. want anyone clock. I don't want anyone clocking my lace. So let me go ahead and throw this little scarf on. Okay, well the scarf is cute, Thank but you. I think there are like, people out there that you will come for you. Yeah, that's they true. You can come for me if you want to, but you're not gonna be my. So, right, you can yeah. fuck around and find out. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. <laughs> the more you Every time around, I say that, the more now, you I'm find like, out. You fuck around and you find out. The more you do, it's oh, exponential, gosh. baby. <laughs> That's math mathematics, okay? <laughs>
really, Girl, really, really enjoyed it. At this really point, really I'm going to start measuring whether or not I like a book or, like, whether it really got me, whether or not I cried. And I was – Yay! Three times, three times I was this close to just boohoo crying. I was like, oh no, Alex done got me again. And let me tell you something, <laughs> Denisha is the one I that don't cry. Group. If someone else is crying, she's like, why the f are you crying? <laughs> what is wrong yeah. with you? And she's so honestly she a bit cried, concerned. Yeah. I know, the book, all the feels, all the feels mm -hmm. touching so every single good. part of your soul. It was just so good. Like, I guess, you know, I'm just a sucker for like raw emotions. And it's just too much. My heart can't take it. But it was just so good. Ugh, had such a good time. Yeah. Oh, such a good time. We love her. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. I think there's a good amount of like moments in this book that we could highlight and you know mm -hmm. each person could throw some out there. I really liked how this book started off. Like when you hear a uh, second chance romance involving a divorced couple, like that's something like I was kind of a bit hesitant because I'm like, okay, divorce, like that's a lot, like a lot of baggage, a lot of issues that you would have to get through. And I'm like a second chance involving a couple who's already been divorced. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So I really liked how Kennedy opened this book up. Like it was just so inviting. I love like diving into books where you're just in the story, in the moment and everything is laid out perfectly, but it's not, everything's not explained, mm -hmm. but you're getting that present like sense of what's going on. So when you first mm -hmm. get into the book, like you get introduced to Yasmin, Josiah and their newfound dynamic. They're a divorced couple, Damn. they're business owners, and they also have two kids together, so they're also co-parenting. And you're just like, Difficult okay, to do. this is new. You know, they're like, what, two years out from the mm -hmm. divorce? Mm -hmm. And like, they're just trying to make it work day after day. And you're getting a sense of who Jasmine is, Jasmine, Yasmin is, and like what she's gone through without getting a full s spectrum of what she's gone through. Exactly, mm -hmm. you're just getting the aftermath. <clears throat> So she's like recovering from her depression. She has mm -hmm. depression and you know, it's based off of trauma that she's experienced, but she's having to like live for herself. Yeah. And I like that Kennedy put that and highlighted that like she got the divorce for herself and her own health because she had to take care of herself. And from here on out, like she's just trying to take care of herself and her kids and her family. But like, that's kind of her main MO. Then on the mm -hmm. other hand, you have Josiah, who's like, he is just, he is just trying to like, he's like, I didn't decide any of this. Yeah. And I'm just trying to just like live with my the life. Just out of everything, it. yeah. Right. Okay. His he, little petty so. I know, and I just- it he was kept throwing like, that back at her the whole time. Yeah, he's like, I me. didn't choose this. I, did, I wasn't the one who asked for it. Like, sir, but you also did I, nothing to prevent it. I don't know. I, get why he continued first of all i didn't feel I like mean, he yeah. brought it up that often but the few times that he did it didn't feel like a throw in your face it was like a okay well you took away my ability to choose like and she really did she did not give him an opportunity to choose and he was still grieving as well and we actually need to make a correction because one of the trigger warnings was miscarriage but it was actually a stillbirth which was even more that's horrific. different right because yeah. she carried you know henry <clears throat> for eight months and then his aunt died and then henry died and so it was just a lot going on and they both admitted that they didn't handle their grief in the healthiest of ways and unfortunately it resulted in a divorce but it's like okay if my partner can't even get out of bed it's pushing me away and then the one time we start to like reconcile even physically he doesn't respond because that's how his grief manifested but then she was like i want another baby i like i want one now knowing the doctor was mm -hmm. like no that's dangerous and also it's like are you fully recovered so the way that she asked for the divorce was insane but i didn't fault him <laughs> one bit for bringing it up because you best believe I'm going to bring it up whenever I get the chance. If you made the decision without me and you were like, no, I'm for real. Like I want a divorce. I'm done. Every time I'm around you, it hurts. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to bring up the fact that you took my choice away too. So I couldn't fault him for that. I don't consider him to be petty at all. He was actually the bigger person 
as much as you can't be the bigger person with grief for a lot of this book, I felt like. And that was a choice on him to decide that, like, that's how he manifested his grief. He didn't. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we can fault toxic masculinity. We can fault a lot of things of how he dealt with his pain. And he had pain from way, way back from literally like his start of life that he mm -hmm. never recognized, brought up or addressed mm -hmm. in his own life. He just was a keep it pushing type of person. And, you know, you have two different people going through two different sides of like of the same grief of the same pain they both lost aunt bird they both lost that baby and you know they both couldn't take care of each other so it kind of just exploded and i think it was all for the best and you know this book i feel like it really shows the entire arc of it you know they started off apart and you know they're going to end up together but it's like there's a lot of things that had to be brought up mm -hmm. in multiple different moments that you know mm -hmm. was helpful so when they do get back together, you're like, wow, that was that was fine. Because they both dealt with their own issues. They both went to therapy eventually. They both, you know, talked with each other, forgave themselves, forget, forgave each other, and, like, yeah. moved on. I thought that was just, like, the whole arc of it all is beautiful. Mm -hmm, but the mm -hmm. pain that they went through is so deep. Like, you just can't throw that around in a book. Like, yeah. I thought the grief and the trauma was done amazing it was mm -hmm. so carefully done one thing i really liked that kennedy did was really show how important it is to have self-reflection and to pour back into yourself in order to love other people you cannot be a good partner be a good parent be a good whatever unless mm -hmm. you yourself are you know understanding what's going on with you loving yourself you know, just because mm -hmm. you, you when you give so much of yourself to somebody else, you don't have that space necessarily for you. And at the end of the day, which this kind of sounds silly, you need you, right? You yes. need yourself to mm -hmm. be at your best. So, you know, when he finally agreed to go to therapy, which of course we know it was for their son in order for him to, you know, address some emotional things that he mm -hmm. was going through in order to advance to another grade, I thought that was a great turning point. Now, I know Yasmin was upset, like, oh, you can go to a therapy she for us, right? but you can't go to therapy okay. for and I asked you to, you know, like, I okay. understand her being upset about that, because I was upset, too, like, okay, you could, you could do this for your son, but you can't do it for your wife, but at the end of the day, all that matters is that he did do it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. He did it, and he mm -hmm. learned so much about himself, so much about his wife, and a lot of the times, you just need someone to hear you, right? You need someone mm -hmm. to hear you, you need to speak all of the things that are going on with you, for things to wait a minute, like be able to reflect and say, wait a minute. Yeah. I mm -hmm. didn't realize that when both of my parents died, I shut down. When Aunt Bird died, I shut down. When Henry died, I shut down. And all I was doing was working, you know? Mm -hmm. And Yasmin needed more than just like someone to hold everything down, which, you yeah. know, she was still thankful for him keeping a roof over their head and keeping grits open. But at mm -hmm. the same time, she's like, well, I, you didn't cry. You didn't grieve with me. You didn't grieve the same way that I do. So I didn't think you cared like that. Yeah. And I was left to mm -hmm. grieve alone mm -hmm. when I didn't want to be alone. Yeah. Uh, depression is such a beast. <clears throat> and depression I think that was, was beating her ass. Was beating her ass. And she knew it. She It took mm -hmm. years for her to come back. And she was so apologetic about it. Like, when she was, like, you know, hosting events again and, like, being at Grits again, she was always like, thank God, like, Josiah was there. He held it down so I could, like, be this I could be here today and you know she was grateful I do I liked that Yasmin and Josiah like I don't think Josiah was petty either and I really think that they had such a good like relationship and it wasn't even romantic like they kept that friendship mm -hmm. despite mm -hmm. everything that they were going through with each other <clears throat> like it was always like we're a team we're always going to be a team no matter what like their business partners and their parents but they were divorced like but they were like work husband and work wives like mm -hmm. but just not uh, I, I like i really like that dynamic i don't know like i'm eating it up you could I just love, like that forced proximity yeah but you could also tell like the foundation that they had was like was solid. something real like soulmates like for real for real because even yeah. when <laughs> Even when they were going through their divorce and then afterward and then they started dating other people. Um, 
you could just tell like they were like nothing com like nothing is gonna compare not to that yeah, woman yeah. nothing's gonna compare to that man and that i i ate that up i was like yes when he was like he was like it feels like i'm betraying her by sleeping with that shit. i'm like because you are because you are because that's your soulmate <laughs> right well because i feel like we also don't get to see a divorce like an amicable divorce and that's what this mm -hmm. was because they were like we're not going to just stay together for the kids or the business like this needs to end however those are the two most important things to us so you know we got to make it work and i think the fact that they did both still love each other they were just so deep in their grief is what helped make it because it's not like you know it was cheating or they had fallen right. out of love or no. some type of betrayal right. like that right. it was just they hit a really hard bump in the road that unfortunately a lot of married couples do not mm -hmm. recover from like losing a child is i think like one of the top reasons couples get divorced and so it's like yeah unfortunately it didn't work out but like the way that they you know were co-parenting and were still business partners i thought that was so admirable and i'm kind of curious about like the first year after How their divorce was. right, yeah. right. but i kind yeah. of also like that we didn't we don't get... see that that we got like I a like, kind of like the here part. and it was like it was awkward they yeah. were a little <laughs> yeah we right like the kids were going through it and i think it was like well we don't need to focus on that because in the here and now it's still a mess but they're trying to you know get it together for each mm -hmm. other but i i did realize i was like oh i've never seen a divorce portrayed amicably and it was really right. nice True. to right. see that not everything else had to crumple when like already so much in their lives was going wrong but when he started dating vashti girl who was the head cook what? of grit the business that they shared employees? together why was he dating an employee? Like, That's come on. a good question. Well, he I think he explained it like it was like they, we spent so much there. time together. We... We're always together. <laughs> so <laughs> it's 50 other women out there and you gonna pick the lady that I gotta see every day. Y'all got all of Skyland. You have literally any woman of your choice. But you gonna pick homegirl who's supposed to be in the kitchen, but she sure found her way out a whole bunch of times. Oh, she lot. was on out of the lot. kitchen a How lot. How you the head chef? How you the head chef? Well, and you not the chef to work they with. Like, she, she was just she like, really said, Let she me delegated. Delegate. I gotta go talk to my man. <laughs> mm. But here's my thing. Like, I understand, like, yeah, everyone's an adult, but like, Y'all didn't think, oh, if we break up, how is this gonna go? Like, thank God they were opening <laughs> they the second did. restaurant in Charlotte. No, they did think about. No, they, they mentioned that several it. times that they said nothing would mess up their professional relationship. Mm -hmm. Which that's the other thing I really appreciate is everyone, for the most part, considering the situation, was very mature about yeah. the way things were handled. Like even the Bosch mama, he, right? Even when the mama she brought her, who was still uh, kind of like he, in her business. Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, she, she was like, like bring Vashti. Right? She's, she's, like, really she's a nice girl. It. Just make sure she doesn't cook any just, of the dishes I'm making. I know she was trying right. to be nice, but I'm like, as Yasmin, girl, you don't want Vashti in your mama house. You don't. But she was so mature about it because she was like, I'm there for Josiah. Like if if Vashti makes Josiah happy, like I can't fault that because I'm true. not there for him. Right. And, and, I'm the one who, and she would say, I'm the one who asked for this. This is my yeah, fault. Anyway. She exactly. She was like, I don't have the right to the feelings mm -hmm. I'm feeling. So she acknowledged her feelings, but she also was like, it like, it it's on. my fault that we're in this. So yeah. let me. So everyone was just very mature. mature. And bigger I, people, bigger people. Yeah, yeah like everybody was trying to be the bigger person. childish and real person. I mean, people are childish in real life. I mean, I'm yeah. Like, this doesn't feel super realistic, but I really appreciate it. You know. Yeah. Like, Why doesn't it feel realistic? Something. It was good for the story. People are fools, and people are childish in real life. I mean, this just think about it. Let's true. really think about it. Would I ever be <laughs> inviting my ex-husband and his new girlfriend to my Thanksgiving at my two house years, with my mom? Two years. After your divorce. No. Maybe y'all know I wouldn't. 15 years later, you know, maybe everything maybe. is better. Y'all got a, more of a friendship, but two years after the divorce, f it's you and her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all can stay over there. You better get you some chicken for Thanksgiving because you ain't coming I mean, to my house. She was so she nice. I don't know why Vashti actually ribs. came. They can have them like, ribs. Honestly, I, I, if I was Vashti, I would have had an excuse. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. I've been like, oh, like, thank no, you I'm so much. I already plans. have plans. Because <laughs> I'm a. <laughs> she Why really I don't want to go. With, I don't want to go. Dishes. She really pulled and, up like, and don't worry, I didn't make anything that your ex mother in law made. Ooh. Like, like it, first of all, what? that's always going to be my mama because he calls her part. mom. He does. So call her mom. we're always going to be family because we have two kids together. Vashti. Well, you know that's not how, I that's think not how also, Yasmin was. I think <laughs> also she was okay being there because remember the other people at Grits who didn't have nowhere to go, they would go to their house. Yeah, but they've been there a long time. Yeah. Milk been there a long time. He's Milk family. has been there a long time. Milk is family. Vashti, you knew and... Ooh, I was just okay, very alive, talented. Though. She just needed to go back to the. She kitchen. just had to go there. Right. Can we, can we talk about, we she talk about the trip to, uh, to Charlotte? Oh, after Thanksgiving. <laughs> after they first yeah. off, after after he got rid of Vashti. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had, oh my god! Vashti was like Vashti Literally. during during Thanksgiving. Vashti was like, "You're going where? Right? With who? Your ex wife? So nervous. Been right? where? With who? With who? Vashti exactly. was sick. She was sitting at that table." Sitting at that table, and that's what you but, get for coming to Thanksgiving. You should have been at. But look, because then also when Yasmin was talking about how she made the stuffing, and he was like, it "Like no, it's so good." Mm-hmm. He was like, and "This is the best thing here. It, t- it tastes like on Bert." And everybody was quiet. We said that is why your ass shouldn't have been dating a man <laughs> who's only been divorced for two years with a thirteen and ten year old. Sometimes y'all got to know. When to hold them and when mm-hmm. to fold them, and she should have folded. Okay, she should have left. Folded. That should not have happened. She should have stuck to the. Because then she got hurt. But I'ma give our boy props because as soon as he realized, he said, "Oh, he I can't still I have feeling." He said, "No." He said, but "That's not fair to you." So I'm gonna. So you're right. This definitely was well, not was realistic. Like, really? But, but she it was kept her issue. She'd be like, "Can I come over?" Right. I was like, "Oh my God, read the room." Can I see you. <laughs> He don't want to f- I'm sorry. He's still no. in love with thick ass right. Yasmin. But was I was thinking, right? I was she talking was. with Kayla earlier, and I thought like, you know, there's so many romances not with divorced couples, but with like single parents and like newly divorced, pe- like finding someone new, their first person after a relationship. There's so many romances written like that mm. where Vashti is the love interest and Josiah is her like mm. her That's her true. hero, and then he's dealing with his ex-wife, and then Vashti and like Yasmin would have to like. There's been so many romances formulated yeah. like that, not like the other way around which I thought was yeah. like, it's unique, it's yeah. different. And I really liked it that way. Cause there's been so many, I'm like, there's so many moments where there's a Vashti and she's like, well, I know I was his first person like after the divorce, but you know, I don't think <laughs> he should be taking a trip with his ex-wife somewhere, X, Y, Z, but. Like, girl, okay. bye. You and your ribs. <laughs> right. He could go with that woman anywhere he wants. And that's, that's what his why. Partner. She was and I'm actually still pepper. Yasmin Wade. And was yeah. the whole time. For legal purposes. Never yeah. changed that name. It's and it's a good thing, too. It's a <sighs> good thing, too. Saved herself some <laughs> paperwork for when he reproposed, spun the block because he should have never left in the first place. I just, <laughs> so, I was just very happy. Y'all, that Charlotte trip, though. Okay, and so Charlotte Charlotte that Thanksgiving trip. was over, and I was like, oh, good. Now we can really get down to business. Like, yeah. now Vashti's out the way, and we can really get into it. I was so excited. When they pulled up and found out that the reservation I was knew up. that was going to happen. I'm like, they're yep. going to go, and there's only going to be one room. Oh, you know you know it was going to be that one bed trope. I That's a, love You know they got to pull that out. Cool error that forces two people <laughs> into, I love it. <laughs> and the, the, the lawyer was like, Oh, my assistant. My assistant. She's she been f***ing like, up lately. You need to fix this. I said, I don't give yeah. a damn what that assistant's doing. You need to fix this. I said, don't fix it. Just don't fix it. Just let it be. And I'm like, I, it, I, I pray it was on purpose. Yeah, she messed up. Because there was a lot of people see. in their business. And there yes. were a lot yeah. of people. But everybody in their around them was like, y'all need to get back together. Yeah. Her friends it were don't like, make no sense why y'all not together. Her friends were like, your husband's fine as so what you was like, do, I like, know. Mama was like, even a blind man can see that y'all are still She was like, world. I know. Why you even think that, I married him in the first place? Even like, that I know he's fine. that met them. Was yes. like, they were like, friends. Like, you guys are just like, like us. Not married? 
Yeah, right. right. You're not together. The whisper. It's not too late before she leaves. Like mm -hmm. a whisper in a wink. Everybody <laughs> was telling Yasmin, "It ain't too late." It ain't. And, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was like, it yeah, was, yeah. Yasmin was, was like, bashed. nah. It was giving that nah. married to medicine reunion where they were trying to save that intervention that to intervention save that marriage. For wait, Simone which intervention? Because there were so many. It no, was the one they made Simone and Cecil's marriage, yes. and it worked. This is why y'all need a village. It's not just you to raise friends. kids. Mm -hmm. You just need friends to be around you because these and, two. Need and sometimes you need that. friends in your business. Sometimes you gotta lay shit yeah. out there for other people to help you see through the bullshit. Like the shit y'all dealing with is not that serious. That because when it's not that big. But also the support thing too. Because remember when they had that like, that little girls' night? Like yes. With and then they, and like they it. found out about what Soledad was going through with her mm -hmm. trifling husband yeah. and then hendrix with her mom, with her mom. like yeah. i was like oh thank goodness y'all like are talking they and you realize like you're yes. not the only ones and you're not alone like you Absolutely. can share this with each other that that was one of the times where i almost cried because i was like mm. Mm, you love that sister yes. and then she was gonna sing that you know i love <laughs> you know i love it because i'm like i always want to say like I want everyone else to be as blessed as we are with our friendship. And I know that that's it's hard to find. Hard to find. I hate, so I hate so that people happy. don't have girlfriends like us. Because yeah. who are you talking to? <laughs> no, for real. Hopefully someone else. Probably as long someone as everyone else. has someone else to talk exactly. to. If it be their mother, their partner, their auntie, their, yeah. auntie, their best a cousin. Because yes, Erica, that's my homegirl. Hey, mom, right. are you oh, yeah. listening? Hey, girl. We going to talk. Hell, even if it's your therapist, because right, one thing, like Josiah, exactly. Josiah was so against therapy; he had every like stereotype, mm -hmm. so reluctant. And like, then he was like, "I just don't think it'll work for me." He got in there with one session with day. that man, talked to him, yeah. and he said, "Oh, mm -hmm. you know what? I actually do feel better because mm -hmm. talking one session. That's all it helps. Mm -hmm. You need to talk your feelings out. Sometimes I don't mean you got to be sitting up there." boohooing and blubbering right. you yeah. do need to talk your stuff out to sort through what's going on sometimes just hearing your stuff out loud you're like oh you know what that's probably why i was sad oh you know what that's <laughs> right. probably why i'm a tight ass like everybody says you didn't deal with your parents death from eight years old and you think you're fine sweetie <laughs> you're no not fine. so not i fine. was so glad when you're he went fine. to therapy and actually like was doing like, the work. Yeah, and I'm like so he was into it. Yes, and I'm he so was. glad that therapist actually worked for him because that man was not finna play with him. He's like, oh like, yeah, that was the like, perfect therapist I for him to go to. For real. I, I have kitty gloves around here somewhere that we can bring out if you like <laughs> don't really want. I was like, yes, because even Yasmin, she had to find her doctor. Her doctor like, like, well, that was her third. third. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it was very realistic in that sense like you're not always going to click with the first person but when you find the match if you're willing to do the work it can mm -hmm. help so i was yeah. really glad to see that and the fact that he modeled that for his son because a lot of <sighs> people will be like you know like i'll do anything for mines and then but won't. will you and don't yeah, yeah. Won't even but bet. he actually did he was yeah. not trying to do therapy but he saw his son needed like you know that that support and he really did it I just yeah. kept, like, and kept it around. Like, and then he was right, calling him up like, in the middle of the night, like, I need a session real quick. Like, right. So you got to squeeze me in. Right. right. Did you see <laughs> And then he pulled up and he said, I slept with my ex wife. He said, You got so me up out of bed for this? This is right. your emergency? So that's what I, I love. Like, that. You got to dig through this. Both of I the work that. that they put in led them to Charlotte, where they yes. both could be like, Listen, we're adults. We're still attracted to each other. Obviously, there's some love, but. We have to address this cautiously. We just gonna fuck right now. Tonight, but we gonna come back to it. We gonna we gonna revisit. No, they later. said tonight. No, oh, they said tonight. It was, it was like it. one time. Get it out of our system. They said one time. Said, okay. Didn't they do it too? At least two. They did two times that night. Yeah. At least twice. Oh, yeah. They said tonight, but I think they realized like when he called his therapist and was like, "I slept with my wife," and he was like, "That's it." So what you going to do? And I'm glad that, you know, they started setting those boundaries because he had mm -hmm. to kind of, you know, put it out there like, yes, I still love you. And I know you needed to divorce me for you, but I still got I hurt still in the process. Me. Yeah. 
and I don't I, want to, be and to protect me. Just like you need to do things for you to protect me, we got to lay some ground rules. But the Boundary. thing is, he didn't say that to her, and that is the one thing that pissed me off. I hate when people keep too much to themselves. They both where it started off with them noticing that they were still attracted to each other and then mm -hmm. realizing like they both still loved each other or they knew but like accepting that they both still loved each other but they didn't to me say it enough yeah sooner. it was a lot of it was so much yeah. inner monologuing so yeah, much inner monologuing. So that was the whole mind. thing of it being dual yeah. pov like yeah. i felt like that was a tool in a sense to Thank build goodness. up the angst for the reunion it like did. we know it's gonna happen but it it built so much angst. I just loved reading about their jealousy. Like, mm -hmm. he, Josiah was with Vashti. Yasmin felt a type of way about that. Yasmin was like, okay, let me just try and get over this man so I can me go a little find like, a new one. Go, let me go and then, like, day. she was, and then Yo, Josiah was like, who the f He was right. clocking Mark at dinner. He like, said, who I didn't knew house? he wanted my wife. Who's this man in my house? Him watching them have house. their little good night kiss after their date from the Bro freaking security sick. cam. That was sick. sick. From the security cam. So I'm like, you really finna make yourself throw up over this mm -hmm. woman. Why are you watching her? And right he now? knew he's like, I should stop watching because I'm violating yeah, her privacy, but I, but I can't. can't. Right. But I can't. He said, <laughs> that is my he wife. He is. And the fact that they kept slipping up they and kept calling saying. each other like, my wife, my husband, my and husband. then be like, mm -hmm. oh, but. <laughs> That's yeah, like, my ex, oh, my ex husband. Perfect. Which I get on that. Josiah's part. His, him, I get because he, he didn't like, want that. She ain't want me all. no more. So yeah, but mm -hmm. uh, Yasmin, Yasmin, yeah. like she caught herself a bat because she was she was like, already oh saying God. like this is my ex husband, this is my ex, this is my ex, and then when her feelings started like coming back and like you know the whole I feel like the whole basis of like why she was holding grudges against Josiah was the fact that he wasn't addressing his feelings. He wasn't going to therapy. He was so against it. He was so reluctant to it. And then once he started, she was like, that like broke the dam. Mm -hmm. Like she was just like, wow, See, that was my works. main issue with you. Mm -hmm. And you just fixed that mm -hmm. on your own. So I got to yeah. deal with like me kind of getting over all this anger and, you know, resentment I held towards you. And then like, once that was clear, then it was like Thanksgiving. And then, at, then it was Charlotte. And then she was like, well, you know, I'm gonna just wait sure he okay, but I'm kind of good right now. <laughs> she said, I'm yeah. having a good time. Um, okay, and then also Deja. Yes, I Deja. Go say Deja. Deja. Okay, Deja was the villain. <clears throat> she was. <laughs> she was she throwing was. shots at any opportunity. Left and right. Yes, really and right. was like, taking them too. She was taking them. So, but but girl, like, it was, I, I'm actually he, very surprised I get it now. that as insightful and in tune with his children that Josiah is, I don't know how this man did not figure out sooner that she blames uh, Yasmin for their divorce. Like, I really didn't, I don't know how he didn't see that, especially with the stuff she was saying when she was like, she did this, like, she ruined your it's life. It's her fault. Like, yeah. <clears throat> and in so this he, man, she multiple times, multiple. she had so much exactly. like obvious resentment towards her. I'm yeah. like, why is Josiah not checking this? He like, was trying to go, and he, he did it in his me. own. Yeah, he would. He mm -hmm. like, and he would always like know in himself, like, I need to go check because that was harsh. Exactly, like, that and was then, really mean. I'm, let me go he check. Would that. Jump back, and he'd be like, Wait, am I being too sensitive? Right. And I'm like, No, you heard no. what that girl just right. said. You heard about her how, she she meant what she how said Yasmin too. has been saying, like, mm, our relationship is strained. Mm -hmm. Like, there's Yasmin something was odd. Trying. She was trying. She, she was, was like, can you do my hair? Like, that. can you, like, she supporting this? Anything, anytime reach out. Deja was, yeah, and Deja was getting in trouble in school. And then, like, she would yeah. just be mad oh. at Yasmin. And then she, she skipped, would be like, this was a decision English? between me and your daddy. He's, he right. decided this too. We taking the phone away. No YouTube. She no said, Instagram. Huh? She said, excuse me? She said, my daddy mean? will have something to say about this. Girl, no, me and your daddy. Same thing. Right. This is a team effort, boo-boo. <laughs> right. We may do, be divorced, but right. we are still your parents. So go on in yeah. that room and... Do your little hair. But when uh, Yasmin was planning Deja's birthday party and it was like after the whole New Year's, oh, that whole New Year's scene when they were in the little back room at Grits and like they yeah. had their own little and moment with the champagne. Years, and then Vashti. Came in and she ruined it. She ruined it. Oh. Actually, you know that it, 
Out it reminds kitchen. me of the girl from Seven Days in June, that one girl who was excited to meet the author when they were having oh, the yeah. ice cream on the beach and she just came and interrupted and their whole really little moment. Yeah. That's what Vashti did. <laughs> interrupted it. It was but literally it's okay. the worst and she was time. like she was going to Charlotte, so it's fine. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. She was, she like, was like, I just like, can't I don't see, see you guys this. together. Yeah. She Good. Like, yeah, you can't you watch can't. that happen. Good. Right. They were so here. fine. They here. were like, go ahead. <laughs> they didn't care. <laughs> so I I <laughs> She'll be fine. She's a very talented <laughs> chef. <laughs> <laughs> like go on sis live your best life yeah. away from here that's when they should have known when yes yeah. and josiah like reconnected and they turned their little like situationship into a little sneaky linky like i moment. like that little sneaky link I like and sneaky it ended up being like this sneaky exclusive link. sneaky little link because look her girlfriend said okay but how you know he he only doing it with you She's and then she was like, I know my well. man. Right. But they were like, only no, 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 wait. You need to play like, her so, so But I'm so no, glad. She said, that I need was that a good point, mine. though. That's a good point. <laughs> Another reason you need friends. Because she's like, you to... know what? I didn't ask him that question. And I probably should because he, she right. knew that he slept with Vashti. So what's to say he's not yep. fucking his way around Atlanta right <laughs> now? You know, I mean, he wasn't, but she didn't ask. <laughs> she never know. So they had to happen. ask and define that relationship. <sighs> I really love this book also that there was no third act conflict because that honestly irks the f out of me in romance books mm -hmm. is these late ass, random ass disagreements that they had of like yeah. withheld information or mm -hmm. like it could just be a whole plethora of things and then it's but like whole... there was no third act conflict yeah. in this they were literally Thank like God. okay we had beef we had issues we had this whole little slip up where we you know let our attractions roam wild and then now it's like a sneaky situation ship where it's like we don't want to break it we only doing this because we don't want to break it to the kids because you know it's very we don't fragile know what's gonna exactly right we don't know what's happening yet mm -hmm. and then like yeah. all then they were like okay let's make it for real like deja no like kasim gonna know and then it's like they're together it's like that's it <sighs> yeah. that's so realistic the way it, okay. it didn't happen the way that i thought it would like I don't know. It just because it went from that sneaky link to him saying, it's "Like, okay, well, we're together, so we got." It. And she was like, "Together," and it's mm -hmm. what she wanted, and it's what we wanted. But I, I don't know. I, I felt like I would have. It would have been more like clearly defined. But it, I feel like they were almost pushed into it because Deja saw them, and that kind yeah. of forced them to make decisions. And then, so, yeah. but it I was. Think it's they it's could have done it forever. It sped right. up that, that process eventually. Yeah. When Thank they were goodness. fucking in the car during Daisha's <laughs> birthday party, I thought Daisha was going to catch them in. Me too. Yes. That was, was like, like, oh, boy. Very close call. Very oh, close. Very. She was like, mama, where are you? What was you doing? I had to get some from the car. She's like I looking around in the console for nothing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, girl. <sighs> Get your ass back in that house. <laughs> don't, <laughs> like, don't mind me. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, I just thought it was... Mm. It's beautiful, though. I just... There was moments where we cried. There was moments where, like, we really, like... I was giggling a lot. Yeah, it like... Yeah. It was kind of funny. There were yeah, some funny moments. Funny. Oh, hell yeah. Because There was Black some funny moments. Funny I'm like, yup. Yup. Mm -hmm. Same. No, just it was good. just... It was a very good story. I really enjoyed it. I so think then, it, I thought it was so unique. Question mm -hmm. then, because we were talking about this earlier. So now that you've had a chance to talk this through with us, Aziza, <laughs> what's your rating going to be? Okay, I give this book <laughs> five stars. Wow. And I give it five stars because I really thought about it and... The story itself is good, but the way that they address so many of those issues, like having to raise children, having to deal with a child's resentment, having to work through being a business partner with your ex, like there was just a lot of guilt and grief. Like there was so many issues that were so masterfully addressed in this book. And then through it all, like I was entertained. I Five stars, very well done, Miss Ryan. Very well done. Loved it. Yes. What you get? Yeah. 
Um, so on Goodreads, I gave it a 4.5. And I think that's just because I felt like the ending was a little rushed. Just felt a little yeah. rushed to me. I feel like that end. could have been done to like editing because it was like, I think that's like possible. Thanksgiving was like, I don't know, 60% of the way through. And then like they had to get through yeah. like the get back. Usually in romances, like the characters always kind of smash like by 50%. Mm -hmm. and like then you deal with it then on but now we only had like 40 to 30 percent of them like actually trying to get together so yeah I could I can understand why you said it was a bit rushed yeah it just felt a little rushed at the end but I we've talked about how well Miss Kennedy girl wrote this book all the things she addressed okay. and this was just different because like you know as us in our mid to getting into our late 20s it's like damn we are grown like this is we have friends who are married we have friends and who have kids like this is some real shit for real this is real and it felt like it felt real mm -hmm. it didn't it felt authentic and authentically like black and current it yeah. didn't feel like it was trying too hard so i, re I really i had a good look y'all know i was on page 33 <laughs> what i was on page 33 on uh thursday friday i took a flight the book was finished by before the end of the flight the book was I finished. Told you. We knew you could do it. <laughs> we knew you could. You'd have no like, choice. I didn't have once you hit a that. certain amount. You're like, I, I need to finish. I need to know what happened. <laughs> well, what did you give it, Nish? I gave it a five as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just, I love this. I love how real it was. I, I really don't have anything else to say. It was just so good. Like all of my emotions. I was almost about to be crying multiple times. Multiple and not times. many just, books. Just not because many I was overwhelmed. Yeah. I was just so overwhelmed with all of the emotions. And I, I love the fact that it was multiple POV. Like we got mm -hmm. to go kind of back and mm. forth. Yeah. It was just. Yeah. Mm, I love being just too good. Mind. Too it was too, too good. good. So yeah, this is a five for me. Right up Period. there with our seven days. So. Oh yeah. At this point. Kennedy, you you about to be my next standard. It was it's Tia and you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all y'all two holding it down, holding it down okay. for the girls. Okay, holding, holding down with the black, the black romances. <laughs> yes, I you know Alex. surprise surprise. You know I had to give this a five. Right? <laughs> this is a high five. <laughs> it's so like, It just. You ate, you can eat. It's easily like readable. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. you dive into the story. You're into the characters. You 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 invested in both the female protagonist and the male protagonist. Like, I I yeah. rooted for both of them. And when I can root for both of them and love both of them and understand each and every decision that each of them made, and like still appreciate it, like easy five. And like the romance and you know oh, yeah. all the eggs and the spiciness like the top tier spice. that was good it was mm -hmm. like just was behind nice. that that emotional aspect to it like that seals the deal for me always mm -hmm. yeah yeah but I kennedy agree. kennedy girl kennedy girl like right. i need you this whole this whole new series we're ready i don't know i don't know if hendrix <laughs> is gonna be first or soledad is gonna be you know the next one up i don't know i don't know but Honey, I'm ready for it. Yeah. Honey, mm -hmm. I'm ready for it. More I'm ready, ready. For it. Go ahead, Both put us on the list for the art. Because we ready. Yes. Put yeah. us on the list. <laughs> Got to get that second one. <laughs> Got to. It's so good, y'all. Yeah. And I know this was like, you know, this is a highly anticipated book. I think we've mm -hmm. seen this all year. And, and this is know, not like, one that's going to actually let you down. Because the way they've no, had these no. books up oh, left and right God. on TikTok, and then I read them, and I'm like, it wasn't even like. No, did I get a long. different copy? Right. <laughs> did y'all send me the the LOL copy? Like, <laughs> not the joke? LOL copy. <laughs> but no, this is this satire. <laughs> this is hot. Okay. Oh yeah. Super hot and fire. It, yeah, grown folks business, like grown folks tea. This is an adult romance. This is not for you know. If you if you not willing to like be emotionally invested into something like you don't need to necessarily pick this up. But if you want something that you can emotionally invest in and appreciate every aspect of, I think this is like the perfect book for you to pick up. I think this is gonna be in every girlie's bag. This is what we're gonna mm -hmm. see the girlies read on the plane. Like mm -hmm. this is this is gonna be it for a while. Yes, for sure. Twenty twenty two is very own. Before I let go. Before I let you. <laughs> 
No! I was not ready for that. I was not ready. We were on two different keys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. We're the reading black girls, not the singing choir. The so singing. it's okay. It's okay. Right. The yep. black girls, not put that the on our resume. Black girls, okay? <laughs> well, but this has I been. Just, I want to give a real quick. I want to give a yes, huge shout out to on. our girl Kennedy Ryan. She saw Alex's review. And she was like, yeah, let me lick with the girls. So Miss Ryan and Grand Central Pub have given us two gifted copies, finished copies of Before I Let Go, which we will be giving away in a giveaway. It'll Ooh. probably, I think we're giving these away before this podcast episode will drop. If you're mm -hmm. listening, please continue to follow, subscribe, support, whatever, whatever, because we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of big things popping yeah. the end of 2022 going into 2023. So keep a lookout. Keep interacting with us. You know who we are. We know who you are. We love y'all. Right. And we do. Rock with a gang. For real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This has been another episode of the Reading Black Girls Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you next time. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>